Habit 6. Synergize. Synergy is the essence of principle-centered leadership. It catalyzes, unites, and unleashes the greatest powers within people. Synergy means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. 1 plus 1 equals 3 or more. Synergistic communication opens up your mind and heart to new possibilities, novel solutions, and unique perspectives which would remain hidden otherwise. It grants the collective spirit access to higher levels of creativity and cooperation. How to introduce synergy to your interactions? The beginning points are habits 4 and 5. You must think win-win and first seek to understand, then be understood. Once you have those covered, you can come to terms with a common goal. It's almost as if a group collectively agrees to subordinate old scripts and to write a new one. This creates excitement and makes everyone work on the same side of the problem. How are you guys planning on beating them? Together. How to create synergy? Kavi believes that the key to interpersonal synergy is intrapersonal synergy, that is, synergy within ourselves. The heart of this is embodied in the principles of habit 1, 2, and 3. This gives you the internal security to be able to handle the risks of being open and vulnerable. By creating an environment of trust and safety, we make others feel secure enough to become extremely open about their ideas. They begin to bounce off the thoughts of their companions and come up with even greater insights. You guys, the IRS, they allow for TNA, it's fine. TNA. TNE. Yeah, I said TNE. No, no, you said TNA. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, did you I did. Say you that? said TNA. It's TNE. All right. I know you're upset about the dinner, and that makes sense because we did spend too much money. But I said TNA. Don't tell me what you said. I heard what you said. Dad, he I'm, said TNA. He, he did. Said, he said, yeah, said TNA. Absolutely no question. Yeah, I heard I'm, it. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm getting this close. Sweating. Dad, I'm getting relax. this close. That's what I'm saying. I knew. I want you to open up more, Max. He's gonna fucking kill you. Why do you hold it in? Why do you, Max? Max, why do you hold it in? That's it. That's it. Get the fuck out of here. Valuing the differences is the essence of synergy. The mental, the emotional, the psychological differences between people. And the key to valuing those differences is to realize that all people see the world not as it is, but as they are. Seeking synergy allows you to avoid negative energy and come up with a third alternative that's win-win for everyone. It also helps you to handle interpersonal situations a lot better and encourages others to be open. Most importantly, it exponentially increases creativity and is essential for achieving common goals. Status. This is no good, Skipper. I don't know the codes. Don't give me excuses. Give me results. Navigation. All right. Let me see. <laughs> and shut him up. <laughs> I did it! Let's get this tin can turned around! Action steps to creating synergy. Here's some things you can do to create more synergy in your interactions. 1. Think about the person who sees everything completely differently than you. Try to figure out ways how those differences could be used as stepping stones to third alternative solutions. 2. Make a list of people who irritate you. Could some of their values lead to synergy if you had greater intrinsic security and valued the differences? 3. Identify a situation in which you desire greater teamwork and synergy. What conditions would need to exist to support synergy? What can you do to create those conditions? And 4. The next time you have a disagreement or confrontation with someone, attempt to understand the concerns underlying that person's position. Address those concerns in a creative and mutually beneficial way. Thanks for watching this video, my name is Seem. Make sure to like and subscribe for the other habits. Chris, where are you at? Hey, stay beautiful, baby.